Welcome to Corvado, welcome to the future. Now you're part of our great family. To begin, we have created a couple of videos and visual content that will help you set up our trading software. To start, we will need to have these four items. First, your own VPS. Second, your personal brokerage account or trading account. Third, a trading platform. Last but not least, our trading software. So please listen and read all the following videos and visual content that will help you step by step begin your journey with us. In this particular video, we'll be helping you open your own brokerage account. But what is a brokerage account and why do we need one? The foreign exchange market is where currencies are traded. Unlike the stock market, it's decentralized. So there's no central exchange. Instead, trades are done directly between parties through a network of banks, brokers, and financial institutions. These institutions we call brokerages provide traders with access to these markets by offering trading platforms. These trading platforms allow traders to buy and sell currencies and thus profit from these actions. Before we start, we must know that when opening a brokerage account, you must see it as opening a bank account. These brokerages will be asking for information to verify who you are. Some of these items could be a government issue ID. They may also ask for proof of address, a utility bill, bank statement, or rental agreement showing your name and address, a photo of yourself holding your government issue ID, and then any additional paperwork depending on their requirements just to verify your identity and financial status. In our welcome email, we have listed a few brokerage firms per multiple websites as the most convenience for your success. You can just click the link and it will prompt you directly to their website. You can choose from this list or if you already have your preferred brokerage, even better. Most of the brokerages have the same steps to sign up. For this particular video, we're going to use as an example MVFX. Please let's visit their website and then press sign up. As we press sign up, the page will automatically send us to their sign in or register page. Press register. On this register page, we will fill out all the necessary information. First name, last name, email, phone number, password that you will use once you log in and then also remember to select all the terms and conditions and tabs and finally press register. We are now registered. Please check your email for the confirmation of your registration. Please check your email inbox spam or junk folder for this email confirmation. Press the link sent in your email to confirm the creation of your brokerage account. It will automatically prompt you to their website email confirmation page where you will press OK on the confirmation message. Once you press it, it will automatically send you to your personal brokerage account. Welcome to your personal brokerage account. In the right hand corner, you'll see your name and also underneath incomplete. Don't worry. This only means that we need to verify your identity. So let's press the verify your account tab. This will lead us to the document page. Here we'll be adding your documents as proof of your identity. They will be asking for the following. First, a real life photo of yourself holding your government issue ID. Please make sure that all glasses or items that have struck your face are off. Second, proof of residential address. This can be your utility bill. Please make sure that they're at least three months old or less. Third, will be proof of identification. This can be your passport or government issue ID. Once you have loaded these items, please provide the brokerage with 24 to 48 hours to process and review your documentation. Once approved, you will receive an email informing you that your account has been verified. Also, right on the top right hand corner underneath your name, you will see the verified tab. With your account verified, we are now ready to open your trading account. Let's select accounts in the left sidebar right under wallets and scroll down to real accounts and press it. This will lead us to a page where we'll have various options of MT4 and MT5 type of accounts. MT is short for MetaTrader, which is one of the most popular trading platforms in the currency industry and 4 and 5 are the latest versions of this platform. For this instance, we will select a standard account of MT4. 
which they call MVGEM MT4. Scroll over this option and press create account. We will now select the currency type we will deposit and the leverage. Leverage is a tool that allows traders to control a large position in the market with a relatively small amount of capital. For example, with a leverage of 1 to 100, you can control a position worth 100,000 with just $1,000 in your trading account. We will select for our software strategy the highest possible leverage, in this case, 1 to 500. Press the Risk Disclosure tab and let's create your trading account. Congrats, you have created your trading account. In your email, you'll receive an account confirmation with your new account number and password. These items are essential to log into your account in your trading platform. Please save them and have them handy. We will be using them in your next videos that will show you how to set up your software and trading platform. Another very important step is to email us your account number. Just your account number. We do not need your password to trade. Please send this to support at Carvado.com. This is to attach your account to our system so we can update it, verify it, and license. This is very important. Without this verification or licensing, your software will not be able to work or trade. So it's very important that you send this to us. Now we're ready to fund and deposit your trading account. Please press the deposit tab. All the brokerages have different ways to fund their trading accounts. Some of these are cryptocurrency transfers, wire transfers, or debit or credit cards. The most inefficient way to fund your account will be via cryptocurrency. For some, it could be something new. For others, something that little by little is becoming a normal part of everyone's life. For those that are new to the cryptocurrency world, in our welcome video, we have provided a couple of short videos that will help you set up a cryptocurrency account, a wallet, and send or receive cryptocurrencies. So you can pause right now and come back to this point, get everything set up. For those that do not need these videos, let's continue funding your account. Let's go back to the main page. In the left hand side bar, let's press deposit. For this particular brokerage, they will provide us with two main options to fund your trading account. The first option will be depositing funds via cryptocurrency and the other ones will be with card. I would highly recommend to use cryptocurrencies. It will be much faster and convenient for all. Within these options available for crypto, I would highly recommend to use USDT or USDC cryptocurrencies. The reason is that these cryptos always stay one on one basis compared to the US dollars, where the others could fluctuate from the time that you do the deposit to the time that it's been confirmed. Once we have selected the type of cryptocurrency we will use, we must now confirm the processing fee. Please confirm and scroll down to the next step. Now we must select which trading account we would like to deposit our funds. Of course, this is if you have more than two trading accounts. We also have to confirm the amount and the type of funds we would like to use for this trading account. So please fill out the necessary information and press continue. They will provide you with a confirmation of funds. This is usually because of other investors that use other type of cryptocurrencies that could vary in price from the time they make the deposits to the time the deposit is confirmed. So please check and hit confirm. After we confirm the transaction, they will provide us with a deposit number and the wallet address we must send the funds to from our personal cryptocurrency wallet. Remember to copy and paste this exact wallet address when sent. I would even recommend sending a test just to make sure you have the correct wallet address. Remember, once this is sent, it is super difficult to retrieve the funds back. So we must be a thousand percent sure that we have the correct wallet address. Once the brokerage has verified our deposit and funded our account, we are now ready for our next video. Congratulations, you have opened your personal brokerage account funded it and we're one step closer to your financial future. Take care and see you in the next video.